Tremendous, ladies and gentlemen, because it is warm. You know how warm it is. Thank you, tough crowd. Well, we're getting there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. They can hear it. So, you've got a bit of momentum to go. They're moving around the limber on that rough ground and they're getting that limber in position. As you can see, it takes all four crew members to move the 27 rounds in that ammunition trip. The first gun crew are putting up the flash shield and the other are getting out the sights ready to go. Uh, we're then going to just check that the guns are pointing away from the hedge because we don't want that fire risk to happen. Then we're making sure everything else sorted, ready to go. So ladies and gents, we will be doing an act of remembrance and combined with this demonstration. So there will be a minute silence between the two uh, firings of the gun. All I can ask you there is to remain silent, stand still and just reflect on those that have actually given their lives for World War II, World War I and any of the other conflicts from now until then. So ladies and gents, see now the left hand gun crew are ready. So in a minute the number one will then stand them down and shout detachment rear. When he's happy or she is happy that everybody is in position and the gun is good. When number one is now then making sure that the second gun crew is all ready to go and the guns are pointing in the right way. I'll hand you over then to um, the commentator for the one minute silence and then you'll also get on the orders as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now ready for our act of remembrance. We've got a couple of minutes to go, which is good because I actually thought we might be late. So that gives the fire brigade a little bit longer to hose the hedge down. We don't want to repeat performance of yesterday when we had things on fire. So ladies and gents, the guns have now been loaded. We're now going to wait just at 12 o'clock. We'll then also fire the gun to start and finish the one.